welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new here my name is Vanessa I'm 24 years old and I do makeup as a hobby on YouTube and Instagram Instagram TikTok follow me up here it's a really fun time so today we're gonna do two palettes two makeup revolution palettes that I really really love one is the Tummy X Revolution Tropical Carnival palette right here. It is stunning. It is so pretty. I love it so much. And yeah, I just can't wait to use it. I will open it for you. I just can't wait to use it. And then we have the Revolution Forever Flawless Rainbow palette. I really enjoyed this too. I just didn't do so many looks on it. But we will just see how those two combine. If you're interested in that, please keep on watching. Please consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up. And let's just dive right into the video. So I already did my eyebrows. I did use the Tame and Frame Brow Palmade from NYX. I really enjoyed this a lot. Then I carved them out with the P. Louise Ibis and the Vuma 3. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Vuma 0 in order to make the colors like pop more. I always like to go and pat down the product with a beauty sponge. And we're gonna go and start off with the Tommy palette. I don't really know what look I'm gonna go for. I did do a lot of like greenish looks the past couple times, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for something warm today. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Jessup 230 Looks Pencil Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and start using this beautiful um, shade right here. All right, so this is where we're at right now. I feel like this color blended pretty well. I'm gonna clean off the brush with my color switch and now I'm just gonna go into the rainbow palette and I want to use Maryland, which is this beautiful, beautiful, corally orangey shade. And I wanna pat this in the inner corner. It's a really pretty shade. I do this because I feel like the orange in the Tommy palette kind of blends in with other colors in the same palette as well. Like it's just... She's gonna mess up my whole floor. Um, yeah, I feel like it just blends in with the colors as soon as you like diffuse it. So that's why I'm just choosing to use this palette because I feel like this color combination is pretty cute. Yeah, I feel like that's really cute. I'm just gonna dip in some more, just intensify it. I wanna go and deepen up the um, purple out there with Magical from the Rainbow palette down there. But I feel like it's almost like the same shade. I mean, it's a little bit deeper, but it doesn't really do that much. I wanna go ahead and blend the purple with a pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Imagine in the, Imagine in the Rainbow palette. It's very pigmented, I know that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like use a little bit. And that little bit like shows up so much. That, that pink is like one of the best pinks I've used so far because it's like so pigmented. And then I'm gonna clean up my brush again. And I will go ahead and blend the Corally shade with Sunrise from the Rainbow Palette. I really like how this is looking so far. I want to go ahead and blend like a little bit of the yellow on top of the um, pink. So I feel like that's just gonna make it like a little bit more matching. I really like how this is looking. This gives me like summer vibes. It looks very cute. It looks so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. Like, maybe with the lights off, I don't know. I mean, if this ain't cute, do you like it? <laughs> do you love it? I think it's really cute. All right, I wanna intensify Fairyland, so I'm cleaning off the brush and just bringing like a little bit back. I really love this shade. Like I'm gonna show it to you on the finger. It's like so cute. It's like, it's just like such a nice shade that you don't really see in a lot of palettes. And it's like so freaking soft. 
and then we're gonna go back into the Tommy palette and we are gonna use it we're gonna use the purple shade again just to bring back a little bit from the purple I know I'm going back and forth here but like sometimes you just have to do that in order to make everything nice and blended And I want to drag this out a little bit more because I just really love that type of eye look. So like the pink ends right here and I'm just dragging out the purple like a little bit further. And then again cleaning off the brush, I'm still on one brush, picking up Imagine from the Rainbow palette and now I just want to bring that little bit back, just like a little tiny bit because you can see like the difference all right so now i want to go ahead and deepen up the crease a little bit so i feel like i should go ahead and use a darker co color in the palette i'm not gonna get there with the rainbow palette so i'm thinking about actually using like the dark blue or the black in the palette i'm gonna go with the dark blue because i feel like that's less risky tapping off the excess this is a very pigmented blue so you just go like a little bit and I want to deepen up the outer corner and like a little bit of the crease in the middle so I'm slightly yeah that wasn't enough working this like so I want these colors to be blended like pretty well so I feel like that with the blue was a really good idea because it just kind of turns into this bluish purpley color. So I really enjoyed that, but I want to go ahead and use a different brush. So I'm using this little Miss Q blending brush. I really enjoy this. I'm going to dip like a little bit into the blue, like really just a little bit. And now I just want to blend the color some. Are we liking it so far? I think it's pretty cute I feel like the I want to go ahead and use the pink from Ima uh, from the rainbow palette with the same brush and I just want to blend the edge a little bit better I want to have like this certain purpley bluish color and then I want to go and use a smaller blending brush and use fantasy which is the white shade in the palette and now I just want to like like just blend out the edges and make them like really soft I love white shadows in the palettes because I feel like the white shadows just can I don't know soften everything out making like the edges just better okie dokie so I don't want to do more because I feel like I'm just gonna kind of mess it up so I don't really know what I'm gonna do for my eye but I want to go ahead and I feel like I'm gonna make it like a little bit more detailed so I'm gonna go ahead and use a q-tip with some um, makeup remover use any but look that it's oil free because if you have something with oil then you just it's gonna be hard to put product on top after that so I just want to go ahead and like clean like the middle of my lid and then what I always like to do is go ahead and use a darker shadow. So I'm gonna use a very pointed like blending brush that is for the crease. It's the BH Cosmetics brush number two. And I will go ahead and use the blue shade again, tapping off the excess. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go like in the middle of everything. Cause it's just gonna deepen it up some more. You don't have to do this step. This is just like something you can do. And because I have a hooded eye, it's just, it's not gonna be too visible. And always go step by step to build up the color instead of like, you know, going ham in the beginning because you can't take color away, but you can add color. And then, <laughs> this is a lot of blending. I go back into the pencil brush. I want to pick up Fairyland because now it's kind of like going away. So I just want to place this on top of the blue in the inner corner so that it's still there. And that's literally all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cut crease, cut crease canvas in the shade Halo White. 
picked this up on my back of on the back of my hand. Where is the brush that I okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and use this <clears throat> flat concealer brush, picking up the product, and now I'm slightly gonna like carve out um, where I want the white to be. What I'm always upset with is when I lay the colors down too low and then they're just gonna be covered up. So I just did everything for, for nothing. So this is where we at right now. And now I just wanna go ahead and lay down some shadow. I'm not really sure. Rainbow palette, Happy Ending, which is this beautiful metallic turquoise shade. This shade is so stunning. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. Oh my God. I want to do so much with this shade. I always forget. I'm so glad that I grabbed these palettes out because the whole eye look looks I love the eye look. I'm so happy. I'm getting like really excited inside because I'm just like, this is coming together. The colors look so good together. I wasn't sure in the beginning, honestly, when I started all of this, but who would have thought that I would come up with this like mermaidy aqua? I don't even know, like, but this gives me like mermaid vibes. What's up? Vibes? Why do I always say vibes? Like makeup wipes vibes <laughs> and honestly i'm gonna put this on my whole lid and then i close off the eye with a darker shadow because like it looks cute girl yes do you like it do you love it i like it i think i like when i do looks like that because I don't ever plan my makeup looks. I plan what shadows or what palettes I want to use, but I never really like plan on like a whole look. Like I don't sit down in the evening, do a whole look and then I'll be like, okay, wrote down the shadows and now I'm just gonna go ahead and like um, film a video like the next day. Like that's just not what I'm, do I'm doing. So I love when everything just turns out the way how I feel like, you know. All right. From the Tommy palette, I'm gonna go ahead and use the dark purpley, um, what's it called? Destiny. It is like a shimmer shadow with its dark purple and I just wanna place this like on the outer corner to blend the colors. All right, I wanna lay down some cut crease canvas on my lower lash line. I seen this on its, its makeup gen or makeup gen. She is such an incredible uh, makeup artist. I don't know if she does the profession. I think it's just like a hobby thing for her, but like she does so cute and so pretty eye looks. Also for hooded eyes, I have hooded eyes, so go ahead and check her out. She's amazing. I will link her channel down below. Tell her you are coming from me. <laughs> this looks crazy now, but I'm gonna go ahead and use from the Tammy palette um, the turquoise shade or light blue the light blue yes and for the inner corner i'm gonna go ahead and use calypso that's like the most like i love the shade so much this is like my, my favorite shade in the palette i want to go ahead and use some liner and for liner i'm choosing the fenty beauty fly liner i really love this you can get like a very like thin line on your lash line All right, so since I'm filming with my phone, I received a phone call and it cut off. But I went ahead and used some glitter liner from Kiko Milano. This is like the glitter eyeliner. It's very like liquidy. Um, but it has like these little cute ass multicolored. It is pretty cute. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but like I topped it and I just like how the glitter is kind of like, they're like really little, so they're not chunky or anything. I love this a lot. Kiko Milano products in general are like pretty cool. cool. I'm gonna go off camera, put on some lashes and should I, and I'm gonna do my base and then I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I have my base on. I just put on some continuous setting mist from Morphe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and top this with the Fix Hydrate and Fix 
Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray from Makeup Revolution. This is my absolute favorite. It's like eight euros. It's bomb. Go ahead and buy it. It just makes everything melt together. I love coating my face like that and just making it dry down. And then sometimes I want to like press it in with a sponge, but this just, ah, I can already see it made everything melt together so nicely. I love it. Do you like my base? I just did a video on my base. I hope you like it if you're interested in that. If it's already up, I will link it down below. And now we just kind of have to finish off the lips and the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, cut, not the Catrice, the Essence Lash Princess, my go-to for my lower lash line. So that's all I'm actually going to do. And for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Kiko Milano 303 lip liner. And then I go ahead with the Trended Hub Lip Cream. It's matte in the shade. I don't even know, but it's number 45. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So this is the final look. I will put on my light so that you can see. Do you like it? Do you love it? I like it. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. We are at almost 70 subscribers. If you want to join the family, go ahead and subscribe. And I want to do a giveaway when I'm at 100 subscribers. So if you're interested in participating, just please keep on following me. Recommend my videos to other people. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.